Well, here to tell us what's going on around the valley is Miss Lori Baldwin of the Palm Desert Area Chamber of Commerce. She brought along a friend, Dr. Veena Kumari, Chief Scientific Officer at Sovereign Health, to educate us on nicotine addiction and mental health disorders. Two things we're both familiar with. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? I'm well. Welcome back to the good. show. Dr. Kumari. Hi, doctor. Welcome yes. to the show. You look fantastic. Thank you. Leave that jacket with me. Very cool. Thank you. Thank <laughs> yes. You. Thank you. All right. As always, we're going to check in with the chamber and see what's happening. Talk to me. Well, we have our mixer tonight. Mm -hmm. Business after hours at the family YMCA of the desert. And yeah, YMCA. And we're having, it's barbecue and cas casino theme. You sure? I'm positive. All right. <laughs> so Who come doesn't out. love ribs and roulette? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I just thought of that. Perfect. So it's five to seven okay. and it's only $5. Not bad. Yeah. You guys always do it right. We do. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. I appreciate you. All right, doctor, <laughs> welcome to the show. So yes, of course. So we're going to talk a bit about nicotine addiction. And uh, let me just start off with this. Is this more common in people with mental disorders? Yes, uh, people with mental disorders such as schizophrenia, anxiety, depression, they are about one and a half to four times more likely to smoke and be dependent on nicotine down the road if you see that general population. Wow. Sorry, Brian, that you. <laughs> she just called me out on live TV. Thank you so much. I am a smoker, but I'm working on it. You, you may still be less nicotine dependent. Okay. I definitely have some mental disorders, but that's a whole other show. <laughs> All right. So um, you already told me a few of the mental disorders. Are there other ones that we might not be familiar with? I think, um, I mean, a number of studies have shown that across countries and cultures, um, people with schizophrenia show the highest rate of smoking. Wow. Uh, and not only that, they are also uh, more likely to have high daily consumption, favor stronger cigarettes, and extract more nicotine from the cigarettes that they smoke. Go ahead. That's very interesting. So regionally, uh, this is a silly question, where are the most smokers in the world? Um, I would say everywhere. It's yeah. prevalent in all countries, cultures, mm -hmm. and I think perhaps one of the most of these drugs are also one of the leading causes of preventable, preventable causes of death. Gotcha. So is it harder for people with mental disorders to actually quit smoking? Um, yes, people with mental disorders, and in particular those with a psychotic illness, they are less likely to succeed when they attempt to quit. And furthermore, even when they succeed, they are more likely to relapse, um, yeah. often within a few days of um, quitting smoking. Mm -hmm. I mean, smoking is comparable to heroin as far as how addictive it is, correct? Um, yes, certainly nicotine is addictive. However, nicotine also has um, some positive cognitive effects. And that may be one of the reasons why people with mental disorders may be more likely to smoke and may find it harder to quit. One of the main reasons, uh, certainly I believe so, is that people with schizophrenia uh, smoke at a higher rate and take more nicotine or are more dependent because they are using it to self-medicate themselves um, for certain cognitive um, yeah. deficits such as attention or and so on. Mm -hmm. And that, I believe, is one of the reasons why some people find it harder to quit. Gotcha. Mm. All right, well, fair enough. We all know that we need to quit. Well, those who smoke. So I really appreciate you being here. I didn't know that mental disorders tied in with that. Very interesting. If you'd like to reach Sovereign Health, give them a call or check out their website at sovhealth.com. You can also contact Palm Desert Area Chamber of Commerce. Give them a call or check out their website at pdacc.org. A big thanks to Lori Baldwin for being here and a bigger thanks uh, to Dr. Veena Kumari. Very insightful. We'll see you after the break, everyone.